Doug Pelfrey joining us now, the former Bengals kicker, to break down this game a little bit more. First, let's have you take the poll question, Doug. Uh, given the events of today, the Bengals win, coupled with the Ravens' loss, Big Ben's injury, which will likely sideline him for at least four weeks, if not more, and of course, the Browns' loss. Should the Bengals now win this division? Yes, no, or it's week three, relax, pump the brakes a little bit? I think yes, it is. I mean, obviously, it's, it's really early, and there's a lot of things that can happen. But to me, uh, we are definitely in the driver's seat, and this is a, a uh, season that's kind of setting itself up for something special with the fact that Ben's out. I mean, it, it totally changes the, the complexion of the, uh, of the Steelers, and I think obviously the Ravens, as we saw today, just aren't the same Ravens that they've been. So I definitely think we're in the driver's seat. Andy Dalton is not only playing some of the best football of his career, he is playing some of the best quarterback in the National Football League right now. Don't believe me? Go look at the numbers and look at, obviously, this team's record. What are you seeing from Andy that's maybe a little bit different from what we've seen in years past. Well, I think the biggest difference from last year to this year is the fact that he's got a full complement of receivers to throw to. I mean, when you look at who he was throwing to that last couple weeks of the season yep. to what he's got right now, I mean, obviously um, we didn't see a whole lot from Eifert, but I mean, what's, what's exciting is I think each week we have different heroes. I think first week you had uh, Tyler Eifert, second week you had Gio uh, Bernard. Mm -hmm. This week we had um, A.J. Green. So, you know, we're, he's spreading the ball around. I think he's throwing the ball on time for the most part. We did see him take two sacks today. I thought the second one was really on him, but other than that, I think he's doing really well. Yeah, well, having depth and quality depth Absolutely. is a, a nice luxury to have. Um, you touched on Tyler Eifert. Mm -hmm. Let me go to his play from earlier today. The touchdown, that was not a touchdown before the half and nearly, well, it didn't nearly, it did swing the momentum of that football game to not get those points there. Um, letter of the law, I guess it's the right call, but I thought we had addressed this during the offseason. Right, letter of the law, it is what it is, but to me, um, it's a horrible call. I mean, you got a guy who makes a great catch, he makes a football move, he has three steps, he dives across the, uh, the goal line, and because the ball, you know, hits the guy's foot on the way out, you know, to me, it's just, it was a poor call. Um, I hate to see it, the Bengals, you know, did give up a little bit of momentum. Um, I know a lot of people are a little upset with the, uh, with the call of going for a touchdown instead of uh, the, the, the field goal, but to me, I like the call. I think it shows the aggressive nature that we're at. I think we're trying to put him away, uh, put, put away the Ravens, and, uh, you know, to me, I think where I'm more concerned was the time management the last 50 seconds of the first half or so. But, um, you know, it, it definitely could have turned the game a little bit. And, um, you know, fortunately for the Bengals, we're able to keep it going. I always thought it should be that once the nose of the football touches the plane of the goal, that's it. Plays over. When you see guys running and they drop the ball before they get to the goal line, well, if they look frame by frame to see if any nose of that ball hit the goal line and then the play would be dead, it would be a touchdown. Right. So why is it not applicable in all other facets okay be that as it may that's right. an argument for another time uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the fact that this Ravens team I don't know if this is just a bad start I don't know if this is a very good Ravens football team 36 yards rushing they, they don't control the line of scrimmage a, a, as well anymore did you notice those same things from the Ravens a, and maybe this is just time to rebuild this thing I think they definitely are in a, in a Period where they need to rebuild. I think uh, they've, you know, I think the Ray Lewis effect is starting to kind of run its course. Mm -hmm. You know, he was so good for so long. I think he changed the, uh, the, the. Don't uh, underestimate Haloti Nada and how much they're missing him. Oh, too. without a doubt, no yeah. doubt. And I, but you know, at the same time, I think John Harbaugh is a really good coach. He's I mean, terrific. The way he yeah. coached today, I thought he really did. You know, he was very alert. He, I thought he made some really good calls. Um, he's so competitive. Um, so I think the fact that they've got a good front office, I think the fact that John Harbaugh's there, I think they'll be fine long term. But um, Steve Smith was the only one I looked at on the field today and thought that guy's special. It's not the Ray where they had Ed Reed, they had, you know, um, Ray Lewis, they had, you know, the, the greats that they had. And, and to me, I just think they need to reload. Okay, very quickly, 10 seconds or less, a couple of questions. Concerned about the fourth quarter defense at all? I'm not a horribly concerned about the defense, no. Okay, prediction for next week, Kansas City Chiefs, Andy Reid. He's, right? That's, uh, it's going to be a tough game. I think it's tougher than what most people think. It will be close, and I think we win. Uh, we can't go against them right now. We're 3-0. That's right. you got to roll with it. Doug Pelfrey, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Sure.